7. The Gods and the Giants Genesis 6 verse 4 The Nephilim were on the earth in those days, and also afterward, when the sons of God came in to the daughters of man, and they bore children to them. These were the mighty men who were of old, the men of renown. Myths and legends are the hidden past they did not want you to know. Every civilization before knew they existed but just called them by different names. They are all fallen angels, Nephilim or demons. The pagan gods and kings in ancient civilizations were all the sons of fallen angels. We have many stories of giants. If Goliath was the son of Rapha he is likely to be descended from the Rephaim tribe, which means giants in Hebrew. Their bloodline continues today with around 15% of our population genetically modified. Only around 1% are actively in charge of the world and fills the positions of royalty, world leaders, tech giants, and some houses of religion. Don't forget the NBA. Possibility of blue bloods, having RH negative blood. This begs the question. Have the movies been telling us the distorted truth, all along? Well, yes. They run Hollywood and have been desensitizing us for years. Have a few virus outbreak movies and make people scared of the next pandemic. Who you gonna call? Your government off course. They then rely on the World Health Organization. Before you can blink, you are in a lockdown with forced vaccinations. They then tell people if you don't get vaccinated, you are killing everyone around you. Best part was that one of the symptoms of the virus is that you don't have any symptoms at all. Come on people, you are being played. They plan everything well in advance. So next time you hear of a possible solar flare, alien invasion, asteroid or killer virus just say, no, we do not comply. They create the problem, enhance the fear and then offer the solution, as long as you are willing to give up your freedoms. Slowly but surely. You are being enslaved and sadly you are just a happy that someone else is dealing with the monsters under your bed. Still don't get it? They are the monsters under your bed. Satan, Lucifer, Apollyon, the devil is running the world. We don't have to fear them as they are still bound by God's law of free will. It is your choice, and it is time to choose. Think about it. The fallen angels don't all look alike, and might come in many forms and some have special powers, like shape-shifting, casting spells, illusionists, witchcraft, and the list goes on. They entertain you daily, and in return they are idol-worshipped and treated like gods. Everything you were told about myths and legends has some truth to it. You were warned, but unfortunately the crazy conspiracy theorist has ruined it for the level-headed, awakened researcher. Instead, they have been mocked and ridiculed. If only you knew that the crazy people are in fact controlled opposition. Even the celebrity conspiracy talk show hosts are all controlled opposition. How do we know? They push alien and globe earth narrative and omit Jesus Christ. It is all about misguided distraction of the truth. If you think this is strange, then maybe you should read scripture again. Especially the books that were removed from the Bible. The Bible is full of references to fantastic creatures and beasts the Nephilim, griffins, and unicorns. There are also seraphim, the leviathan, a talking donkey, and a giant fish. Some of your favorite movie characters might just be real. To list but a few. Vampires, Count Dracula, Prince of Wallachia, is related by blood to Prince Charles. They drink blood, adrenochrome to prevent getting old. They can shapeshift. Nero Caesar's mother Agrippina had an extra canine in her upper right jaw. Considered very lucky. Giants. Technically anyone around seven feet would be regarded a giant. Today we even see them in sports. Oddly some have six fingers like the giants of old. Documented skeletons were found up to 30 feet and extremely large artifacts have been found all over the world. A major cover-up was orchestrated by the Smithsonian Museum in the early 1900, and now it seems to be a forgotten knowledge. Luckily the huge giants, known as the Titans, turned on each other, and would no longer be able to live today due less oxygen brought by removal of giant trees and our current scorched earth. In one Enoch they were great giants, whose height was 300 cubits, a cubit being 18 inches, 46 centimeters, 
This would make them 450 feet, 140 meters tall. Werewolves. Once again a genetically modified human that can shape shift into animals. And they worship the moon. Zombies. Sadly, the walking dead are the majority of people today, sheeple that are still sleeping. And who are they hunting? You got it, the awaken. Us. Elves. The enlightened ones that have ancient knowledge and live much longer. Greys. This seems to be more of a demonic spirit in a synthetic body that could have connection with AI. Aliens. They are derived from the Sumerian gods the Anunnaki who are seen as aliens. They are extraterrestrials in the sense that they have a kingdom past the ice wall and not a planet as was suggested by the deceivers. It gets a bit complicated so we'll leave it there for now. Just know they come in all forms and sizes. Dinosaurs, they got you good. They did not exist, a fabricated lie to support evolution and Big Bang Theory. Not saying giant creatures did not exist but they did not live or die out 65 million years ago. Compressed chicken bone molds made in China. Quite lucrative. They had to hide giants and dragons. Dragons. How many times was the word dragon used in the Bible? You can also read Daniel 14. Many skeletons have been found, but it is easy to write it off as the imaginary dinosaurs. There are a few more flying creatures out there. Yes, there are a lot of fake photos and false information out there. Keep your wits about you. Don't let them write the script. So let's get back to business. Who are the elite? The 1% ruling the world? In the Western world, you won't find it surprising, but they are mostly elite Jews and the Jesuit Catholics. By no means am I condemning Jews or Catholics in general. Unfortunately, these religions have been hijacked by the devil. Many are also placed into positions purely as puppets. And yes, they worship the serpent. Baal and Baphomet too. We'll deal with the Catholic Church in part 9. Who are the elite Jewish people today? And why is Israel so important? Open your eyes, the select Jewish people running the world are not the God's people in the Bible. The New Jerusalem is in heaven and not a place on earth. Israel is owned and founded by the Rothschilds. He bankrolled the Zionist movement in 1897 and David Ben-Gurion, Israel's first prime minister, worked for Baron Edmund de Rothschild at his winery Carmel Mizrahi. The Zionists have stolen Israel, taken over Europe and America. They own everything and they run everything. You can call them what you want. Khazarian Jews, Ashkenazi Jews or Zionists. It does not matter. What is important is that they are not the one true God's people and their plans for Israel is not holy anymore. The elite are the spawn of the Nephilim. They have hijacked the world and the Bible's history in a bid to recreate tribulations for a much darker purpose. The return of the Antichrist. They fabricated history to appear as victims and martyrs. Have you noticed the only word that has more power against you than being called a racist is being called an anti-Semite? Most countries have harsh anti-Semitic regulations. Funny how you are run by the elite, yet you are not allowed to call them out. It is starting to feel very fascist at this point. Please note that most people that follow a religion are not aware of the religious leader's actual motives. I oppose hatred against people of a certain religion or ethnic group. But I will call out the evil people pulling the strings. Ask the question? Why does almost all political leaders and high-ranking government officials in America have dual citizenship with Israel? Who is running your country? You don't have freedom or a democracy. You are owned by a corporation, still fall under England and are being run and influenced by devil worshippers. The flag of Israel is not the Star of David but instead the hexagram seal of Solomon. Solomon betrayed God and built pagan temples. Mainstream Jewish people use the Torah, but if you look at the elite you will find they use the Talmud and follow Kabbalah mysticism. You will find that they see us as insects, useless eaters and slaves. Pedophilia, cannibalism, and transgenderism is all implied. They refer to us as Goyim. The descendants of the twelve chosen tribes of Judah are you, God's children, that believe in Jesus Christ. The only way to God. Easy to know who to trust and who not to follow. Matthew. 
7 verse 15 to 20. Even so every good tree bringeth forth good fruits, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, either can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them.